Hi guys, and welcome to the third video of VIT's channel, Vicky's Informational Talk. In this video, we'll be talking about how a whistle works, and the backstage of it. We'll call it the backstage, because in the backstage in a theater, that's where all the work happens, where you do everything. So, just in case this isn't what you think it is, this isn't I'm teaching you how to do a whistle, I'm teaching you guys what's behind it. So, this isn't your video if you're looking to do a whistle. What is a whistle? Before teaching you guys a whi about what a whistle, I have to teach you guys what a whistle is. A whistle is a high-pitched noise created by someone blowing through a small gap between slightly open lips. Whistling can be used as a way to either get someone's attention or can be a way of singing. And before I start this topic, I'd like to say something. So, this topic is one of the harder ones. And I hope you guys understand everything from the slides. But I put an animation, I'll be putting an animation in the link below. And please watch it, it's my first time doing it. Like, you don't have to watch it, but if you don't understand this, watch it. Okay, it's my first time doing animation though, so please, if you guys want me to do something better, tell me. If something's like not good, tell me. Or even tell me if you like it. I really appreciate all of that. But let's start. The basics of noise and speaking. When you speak, the air coming from your lungs is called larynx. The larynx vibrates the air from your lungs and sends it to your tongue then that's when we use our mouths to change the modulation. When we change the modulation, we get the word. So by that, the larynx is also known as the voice box. And second, when you say change the modulation, um, let's say you're gonna say Vicky. You won't say Vicky or Vicky. You'd say Vicky or Vicky, something like that. So yeah. And now we can see how people um hear the word. When we say the word, the noise vibrates the air molecules and sends it to the person you're talking to. It goes through his eardrum into a specific part of the brain called the auditory cortex. This ordinary cortex is wrong, it's auditory cortex, sorry guys. When this goes to the brain, is when, that is when the person understands what we have said. It's so funny how this barely even takes a second. This whole process. I wrote all of this in four bullet points. It probably took me like a minute and a half to say that when it takes a second for the whole process to happen. Less. Less than a second. It's just really crazy to think about. So, how is the frequency of sound, sound found? Sound's frequency is checked in the form of hertz. The lower the hertz, the lower the pitch. Like, let's say, this is a low pitch. Hoi, my name is Vicky. That's a low pitch. But even though you can make your voice really low or really high using something, you the ear can only hear 20 to 20,000 hertz. So, yeah. When people say that girls have a lot higher voice, it is very true. The average hertz for a man is 85 to 150 hertz. See, so that's really low. Like I was talking about sound's frequency and how your he ear can only hear 20 to 20,000 hertz. But when ladies speak, their voice is average 165 to 255 hertz. Next, we're gonna talk about the three important parts to a whistle. This is probably the longest part of the video where you'll need to listen to. For a whistle to vibrate, the air molecules do, and 
do all the other steps and finally enter the person's brains. Three things are important. These three things are called the source, resonance chamber, and the sink. The breath that comes from your lungs, which hits your mouth's entry point, is called the source. The mouth's entry point is like a little bit above like your throat, a little bit, not too much. From the source, the air then goes into the resonance chamber. When the air goes into the resonance chamber, it enhances the air. You can think of this like a car or a swing. When you're in a car, you don't start out going from 200 miles to 80. You go from 80 to 100, or 80 to 200, and this is accelerating. When you're in a swing, this is a better example in my opinion, you won't start out going really fast. Yes, when you go really fast and then stop pushing yourself, you go slower, but you don't start off really fast. You start slow, go fast, and then eventually if you stop pushing yourself, then you become slower. And like that, when you're on a swing, you go faster as you keep on going back and forth. The three parts to a whistle, part two. I don't know why I have a question mark here. Hmm, okay. Yeah, but the three parts to a whistle, part two. When the air is coming to clo t is coming, you close your lips slightly so that the air turns around. When the air turns around, vertices are created. These vertices create air molecules. Inside your mouth, air when air molecules are created, it vibrates so much that it comes out as a whistle. So, basically it's saying, the air molecules are vibrating inside your mouth because you have it really closed like and a little open. The air the vortices are created and this makes the air molecules vibrate so much that it comes out as a very high pitched whistle. The more the air molecules vibrate, the more higher a pitch would be. And the whistle. When the air goes back, vortices are created. These vertices create air molecules, and since the air is with the air molecules, it vibrates so much that it comes out as a whistle. When it comes out, this also creates vortices which vibrate a lot, the air a lot. This vibration gives you what is called a whistle. I just talked about that. A whistle's frequency is about 500 to 5,000 hertz. You may be surprised that I haven't talked about putting your fingers in an own position in your mouth. It isn't needed, but this makes your resonance chamber smaller, which means it'll make an even louder vibration. And just before I end the video, you see how a whistle's frequency is 500 to 5,000 hertz? Look at the average man's whistle. 85 to 150 hertz. Think about how much higher it would be. Look at the... um. A woman's um, hertz, 165 to 255 hertz. That's crazy to think of. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you learn anything new, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. So you won't miss out on another video.